So we'll, we'll help Will sail handle, and then we'll come back. And before we push the boom out, we'll tell him, and then we'll push the boom out, and then we'll be ready to drop the net in, but we'll tell him first, and then he'll say okay, and then we'll drop the net in. And then Bree will be running around with her data cup. Oh, it's a lot happening. Okay, ready? Go, 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 go. We are about to deploy our midnight new Ston station. It's something we do here at SEA noon and midnight, usually every day. It is our first new Ston for our watch, and so we just figured out all the lines, and um, they haven't quite got the names down yet, but they'll get there. And luckily we got a full moon, so it's easy to see when we're on deck. But eventually they'll be able to do this in their sleep, basically, when it's pitch black out. Are you guys ready? Yes. Nets in the water! I'm Brianna Welsh from Beloit College, and uh, my major is Environmental Studies. My science project is basically looking at marine pollution along the C-235 cruise track. I'm looking at plastics and tarballs. A tarball happens when you have oil floating on the surface. The action of the wind and the waves and little oil-eating bacteria work to weather the tarball. They wash up on beaches a lot, and uh, they also just sort of float around in the ocean. Remember that project I was telling you about that we got funding for? We went through all of our old data sheets from 1971 till now, and these were super, super important. It's kind of cool. So now I'm all about these. Okay. <laughs> um, anything that you can tell people who aren't here to see it was helpful. All of this stuff is the quantitative analysis. So this is like the describing part, the qualitative, and then the quantitative is when we actually want to count and measure things. Hey, Will. We're hauling the net back. The Newstone net is called the Newstone net because we sample the Newstone layer of the water, which is basically the air-water interface. And we tow it at two knots for 30 minutes, so approximately one nautical mile. And when we bring it back on board, we've got a whole bunch of critters. Oh, you see all the mctophids? Yes, Oops. so many mctophids. And sargassum. And I bet those are a bunch of little amphipods swimming around, and copepods, and euphausids. So cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a little trigger fish. Oh, See him? Cute. Basically, all we're doing is we're going to dump the contents of the bucket into the sieve, and we're going to pick out things that are bigger than two centimeters, and we're going to write them down on the data sheet. Do you have a petri dish? We didn't find any tarballs in this new Stanto. As we get closer to the coast, I am expecting to find some more, based on the proximity of Deepwater Horizon and all of the oil rigs that are set up in that region. But it depends a lot on the current, because the loop current takes a lot of sort of stuff out of the Gulf. You're going to have to zoom out a little bit, I think. Oh, oh, there it is. <laughs> Whoa. Can you see his, his mouth a little bit? It's OK, keep moving around. That is the crowfish. Mm -mm. See this blue guy right here? Yeah. That's a copepod. Hey! Hey! You guys see what we've got up oh, on the screen here? Whoa! Is this what we collected? Yeah. 